Your healthcare provider has determined that you will participate in a home sleep apnea test. The Cadwell Apnea Track will collect data on your breathing and snoring while you sleep. If your provider gave you specific instructions, follow those instructions first. As you prepare for your home sleep test, please check the contents of your kit. Verify you have the apnea track, a chest effort belt with a blue connector, an airflow cannula with clear tubing, an oximeter finger sensor, adhesive tape, and the patient instruction manual. If your provider has already sized the belts and connected them to the device, skip to the chapter Wearing Your Apnea Track. Connect the apnea track to the chest belt over the Cadwell logo by sliding the belt up under the clip on the back of the apnea track, ensuring the logos both face the same direction. To remove the port cover, press on the arrow and slide the panel down. Connect the blue input from the chest belt cable into the blue port. Connect the oximeter finger sensor into the black port on the apnea track. Replace the port cover. Press the oximeter cable through the hook on the side of the apnea track. Place the chest belt around your chest and stretch it so the belt is snug and comfortable. Fasten the belt by pulling the hard plastic button through the nearest slot in the belt. You may trim the excess length using scissors if necessary. Holding the cannula with the prongs facing towards you and curving down, insert the ends of the prongs into your nose and pull the cannula tube back over your ears like a pair of glasses. Slide the tension adjusters up the cannula tubing, tear off two small pieces of tape, and secure the tubing to your cheeks. And attach the cannula by gently twisting the tube onto the metal connector on the top of the apnea track. Remove the paper covering the adhesive on the oximeter. Place the oximeter finger sensor on the index finger of either hand, with the cable running up over the back of your hand. Wrap the sides down around your finger and fold the bottom side up and wrap the sides up to enclose your finger. If the cable hangs loosely, tape the oximeter cable to your shoulder and elbow. If there is no slack, tape it just to your hand. If your provider set an auto start time, you don't need to do anything to start the recording. Just go to bed and the device will start at the correct time. If your provider instructed you to hold the button to start the recording, then press and hold the raised Cadwell logo event button for three seconds until the recording REC indicator LED on the apnea track appears. The LEDs will then turn off, but the recording has been activated. If any cable disconnects, simply plug it back in and the recording will continue. To record an event for review, press the raised Cadwell logo event button once to mark an event in your sleep study data. Write down the time and the reason of the event for your physician to review. To check if the device is recording at any time, push the event button and the recording LED will illuminate for a few seconds. If you feel uncomfortable, you can move the apnea track to either side of your chest, but please leave it on the front of your body to correctly record your body position during sleep. Please refer to the patient guide provided with your apnea track system if you have any additional questions on setting up the system. If you need to use the bathroom, remove just your oximeter finger sensor, wash and dry your hands, and replace the oximeter finger sensor when you're done. The recording will end automatically. You can remove the sensors in any order. If you were instructed to use the apnea track for more than one night, use a new kit or use all new sensors. Follow the instructions given to you by your provider to dispose of the accessories or put everything back in the case and return it to your provider. Thank you for watching this apnea track patient instruction video and good night.